Welcome to Tech Assembler. And in this tutorial, we would be discussing about date picker in Annex. So how these date picker works and what are the custom events and how we can change the CSS and we can limit the date picker and the time, time picker and change according to our requirements. So let's begin. We have this blank application that is date picker. And in this, we will gonna see how the date picker templates work. So for that, I use the date picker default template. So this is how it looks. So basically this label, you can give anything instead of date, you want something, your custom uh, text, you can display over here. And this is the date template. This is how it looks. And this is the display format. You can give like this, or you can give like this also. And this is how it will gonna display after selecting the date or the time from the uh, picker. So let's see how it looks. So I just saved it and just I select one thing. So this is how it looks as we have specified over here instead of dot we want to replace it with slash. So this is a slash and we want a little space between them and let's save it and see how it looks. So uh, this is how it looks. You can see the slashes between the date and this is the default template which without any CSS and the custom we haven't changed anything over here. So now uh, we can give many things like we can give a maximum or a minimum value uh, like this minimum. So let's see is minimum 2000 and the maximum what we can want just to display 2022 okay minimum and the maximum limit by which we can limit the user to select the date between these two limits for example you uh, user can select only between the year 2022 and the 2000 he cannot go beyond or exceed the limit so this is how it works for example we want to remove this timer from here so we just remove this timer and it will automatically remove uh, the timer from the picker also so you, you can see over here it is not showing the timer also so now it just works vice versa if you add the timer over here you will get the timer in your picker also so for example I want to be selected uh, I want here to be selected the default date for example I just select anything dash 03 slash 1995 okay so i selected here 1995 you can you just keep eye that we have a range between this and this so it will show or not show let's see so it will show but when we change the date uh, it will render the date between these two okay if you want these dates to be selected by default you can show but the best is you can just go with your default values the minimum and the maximum values over here okay so this is how it works so, till now we have dis discussed these few things and if i just remove this we have few more properties like disabled okay so whenever i type here disabled it will disable the picker so how it looks so i cannot click even the uh, picker so this is how you can disabled it or you can set the value to true if you want it to be dynamically you can get the value sorry yeah, this is true and if i set the value false so this is how you can uh, do the things from backend also if the value is false it will not be disabled and the value is true so it will be disabled so this is how it works and since we have one more property like placeholder so we can uh, type here anything what we want so select date so this is how it looks so you can write anything over here and the date gets replaced with the placeholder text and we have few more things like the display format so we have display format like this also or you can select the ddmmy instead of mmyy that is month and year so this is how it looks you can select the full month and this is the year or if you just reduce this to two 
you can see only the count of the month so this is how it looks so you can change the optimize the things according to your requirement or you can add the timing also so so the uh, display and the pickup format adjust automatically by itself so this is the hour and this is the minute hand and this is the am and pm so it will adjust automatically then you can also set the minute value okay for example you want the difference between uh, 15 15 minutes so you can just give 0 15 30 and 45 so it would just reflect it like this this is the minute hand we have 0 15 30 and this is how okay the same thing you can do with the hours also and the seconds also okay so we have few more things like month value i just replace the minute with the month value okay so this is the month value and i also replace here a month sorry what is happening so we have mm sorry i just write mm and yy okay so this replace the month so you can select only three months okay so this is the indexing of the month that is january february march april may june like this zero one two three four so you can just allow three months or whatever month you want to be selected here so you can give like this also and if you want only these two years should be uh, display you can just give also year value so you have these two years only so actually we have uh, just given here a month and a year value and a minimum and a maximum so i just remove this let's see how it looks okay we have, oh sorry years value i hope it should show me the year also okay so finally it is showing but i am not able to identify so this is how it's showing so 2014 20, uh, and 2015 so this is how you can limit the year also whichever year you want to show or you can just give a string over here so if you uh, you want to bind with uh, backend so just give and just here you pass the year list okay this is how or you can give it to over here like this string and you can pass 2014 comma 2015 comma 2016 so this would work okay perfect so this is how you can bind the things also make sure that you enclose it with the square bracket so same way you can bind all these things okay so i just showed you one thing this is the year value the same you can do with the month also and the placeholder i don't think that you want to do with the placeholder also so you can do anything with these things okay so moving forward we have a few more that is day value so the day value also works the same way you want a specific day to be selected over here so actually for day we need to change this display format so i just add the day also so dd means day okay so this is how so it will show only the 14 days of a month okay hope you understand the things and one more thing that we have the position okay so for position position should be kept over here so your text would flow okay so this is how it looks your text uh, is on the top that is date and you can see over here or you can just choose the stacked also okay so stacked and this things are same i think so not much more so we have seen how the date format works and the same way you can also use many things like the custom properties which i will cover in my next video thank you for watching the video please hit the subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon for more updates